Uh, hello, welcome to a quick tutorial on linear dimensioning in Rhino 5. Uh, so for this we're going to be looking at how to create a linear dimension uh, just like these ones here in perspective view uh, on the X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, so this is my finished product here. I'm going to go over kind of exactly how we make this. Uh, and it's really valuable to use uh, in our blueprint so that we have a specific measurement of the exact size of the object that we've created. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and go into perspective by double clicking this mode here. We can have a look at it. So we can see it on the X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, so this one is from the top view. We can see 10 and 5. And on the Z axis, uh, we have 4 millimeters tall. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on these and delete them for now. Uh, and I'll show you how we get to this product in the end. So I like having on all four viewports while we're doing this. Uh, just so we can snap to certain points uh, and make it easier to create this object. Uh, so one thing that's really important is to have uh, in our O-Snap tool down here, near and intersection on. You can also access that up top here on this drop down menu. Uh, and then to find the linear dimension tool, we just go to dimension up here and it's the very first option right there, linear dimension. So we can go ahead and select uh, the object that we want to measure. So in this instance, we're going to go on the top view, and we're going to measure the bottom here. Drag it out and click it, and it says that it's 10 millimeters long. And then we're just going to go ahead and do that for every side. Uh, one thing that happens is uh, sometimes it snaps to the wrong point with the O-Snap tool. So you can go ahead and select a point in perspective view, and then finish it on top view so you can get the proper measurement there. And now we're just going to get the Z axis. And I'm going to bring it out on the front view so that it's nice and close. So now when we look at it in perspective, we have the length, width, and height. And we can easily transfer the, uh, these blueprints to physical objects in real life. 